at 6 o'clock. Let the EDC meeting start. Patrick, will you call to order? I mean, call roll call. Sure. Uh, Hall. Here. Christy Maxwell. Here. Shay Johnson. Here. Martha Newton. Here. Martha Sanchez. Here. We have a quorum. We have no citizen participation. Review and take action on minutes from April uh, 13, 2023. Uh, I haven't heard any input on the minutes that Martha prepared. I move to approve the minutes dated April 13, 2023. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Review and take action on the financial statements as of March 31, 2023. All right. Okay. Uh, I had uh, pointed out before some of you got here that I had uh, left off uh, some interest income, and so I put uh, on the reports, and so I put uh, some additional pages at uh, all of your desks. Uh, basically, the uh, Texas class account had $401,425 in it. Your uh, Frost Bank account had $66,746. And the, uh, the accounts, the uh, due from general funds, uh, I'm, Christy, based on your comment last time, as soon as I made the sales tax allocation this time, I move, I move the funds to the uh, EDC immediately. So there's no lag after we got the, the monies. So um, on, the, on the next page is the uh, revenues. We've received uh, 87,000 in uh, sales tax so far this year. And uh, if you look at the revised, sheet that I gave you the uh, the sales the uh, interest income year to date is uh, three thousand nine hundred and seventy nine uh, which is the Texas class and the interest that we make on our uh, planes sweep account uh, expenditures uh, let's see Expenditures, uh, we've got uh, we've got about fifty-one thousand that we've spent in in uh, capital outlay, and I can give you a breakdown. I didn't give you a schedule, but I can just let you know uh, we spent five thousand nine hundred and fifty on the, our beautiful ceiling tiles. We spent six thousand three hundred and sixteen on our beautiful carpet. Uh, 704 was for painting of this room. The chairs that are in the audience that are so nice, those were 10,330. The chairs that all of you are sitting at and the ones that we are sitting at, those were 14,681. And uh, our, our LED emergency lights were 210. The Voight Center uh, improvements that have been made totals uh, 12,848. So that's about 51,000 so far that's been spent uh, this year on all of the improvements. And how much is left over what we had agreed on between the two projects? Do you remember? The one, the project for this room renovations, there is uh, almost exactly $6,000 left over. And on the void, we're void still. Void is uh, right, right at about even okay. for the amount that was budgeted for that. I think that was 35. And then this, we're still waiting on two components for the AV system. That's it. Uh, the project in here, just as it relates to that discussion, um, the blinds, I think, are new and trash can, little things like that. Yeah, this was supposed to be completed. Uh, the guy who was working on it uh, is sick. Uh, so hopefully by the end of the week, it'll be done. It looks very nice here. It looks really nice. Really nice. Um, legal and professional fees, we've spent uh, 9574 so far. And that's, that's basically all of the expenditures. So 
right now, as it stands right now, we're uh, we have excess revenues of twenty nine thousand in the EDC. Okay. <coughs> so, do you, anybody have any questions? Do I have a motion? <clears throat> Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Any nays? Passes. Thank you. Now we move down to the approved business and projects. Update and discuss status of the HPEDC billboard advertising program, including discussion on issues related thereto. Patrick, okay. were you going to talk about? Uh, yeah, I'll give an update on everything. Um, so uh, it's been a minute since I made some notes here, but uh, <clears throat> I, I would like y'all's direction on this project. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what we've done so far, obviously, is to have those eight-second ads up there. However, um, upon one of the, the last submission or two to that billboard company, they said, hey, we need to talk about, we need to talk about what uh, this our current arrangement basically and so uh, <clears throat> upon looking into that talking to them reviewing the contract talking to the then EDC attorney about it um, there's no there's not it's not in the contract that we get to advertise our businesses for free on those billboards um, the reason that was brought up at that time it was 2020 and they didn't have a lot of business and advertising going on certainly wasn't a lot of highway traffic in that year so they had plenty of space available demand is up and they have a lot of paid advertisers and he said we're not gonna be able to advertise some of these for another few weeks and things like that so it's kind of getting pushed out because they have demand or priorities for the paid advertisers um, if that part makes sense. So um, there's fewer free opportunities. Um, and so one, I, I, I mentioned this to Delane a couple weeks ago. Um, I've been in contact with that gentleman from the billboard company, and we have just been missing each other on phone calls, several phone calls, um, to discuss it. My thought is if, if we don't have enough if they don't have enough space for free advertising for our businesses, then we just wind it down to one or two ads that are generic. How long so, is the contract for? Uh, till t the earliest till t I think it's 2039. Yeah, long time. I mean, and the city benefits greatly from it, so we like the contract. I just. It's, like, it's, <laughs> like, it's always in the assumption that, just, that that was in there. Just to refresh our memories, sure. uh, what, what, what are the benefits to the city? They would get 300000 a year for 30 uh, years. It depends on the year. This, this past year, we got a little over 400000 400000 Because it goes up each year, I think, correct? Just about. Just about. So it started off at three, and it's gone up or something like that. Yeah, and, and there's it, different contracts and certain billboards expire but the earliest one expires is not until 2039 what what kind of revenue is that directly to the city or to the edc it has nothing to do with the edc it's strictly a, a city general fund opportunity one one thing i would like to mention chester across the street if i'm pointing in the right direction that that's chester oh yeah. uh, he he went into a contract with them and we get the money he he would have gotten the money from that billboard being on his property and he uh, signed it over to the city so he's been very good to us oh yeah but as far as our free advertisers on yeah on this it's there's one for there's the one on 1604 and there's one by that feline house right so that as far as that one goes and the one over by the Valero there um, there's nothing in the contract about the city getting free advertising the therefore the EDC getting free advertising um, I think again I haven't had a great conversation with them a lot of missed phone calls but um, if I I mean if we're if they don't have a lot of room for free ads but they want to work with us then I would suggest we just move forward with a generic shop Hollywood Park kind of 
ad or something like that. Be nice to do the Voight Center. Or that, or both, right? Something like, just pretty generic. If so, then we would have to take down that program we were doing for, the, for all the businesses. Yeah, and that's why I've not been out visiting the businesses, waiting right. to see how this is going to work. Right. I mean, you know, that's, that's negative. We've been kind of putting forth a lot more effort into that in the last year or so. Uh, but good news is people are advertising again. So. Okay. Does uh, it and that's the other thing I reached out to them about on billboards is what, and you all mentioned it too, what are the rates? I still haven't ever heard back from you on that. What are the, what are the rates and specific peak hours and all that? I don't know. Yeah, that's my question. Sure, mine too. Okay. Yeah, he's not great at communicating, unfortunately. Does anyone have any questions or comments about the billboard? I assume that the CAT hospital wrote something into the contract because their advertisement's up all the time. So since it's on their property, I assume that they were, had an attorney that was intelligent enough to write something into their contract, whereas apparently our city attorney was not. Unless because they paid for one. No, it was in their contract. He does not take money. Yeah. He gets free advertisement. So when this was all verbally said, yeah. the city attorney dropped the ball. That's my comment. Okay. By chance, do you know who the mayor was? Don't. I don't know. I just can't remember back that far. That's why I was thinking. I wasn't sure what date that was on. I had to guess. It was one of those. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to move on to number two. Mm -hmm. okay. Update and discuss the status of attracting, retaining, and promoting businesses in Hollywood Park. Does anyone? Oh, by the way, can I take the billboard off the agenda unless there's something new that comes up? Yes. Well, aren't we going to possibly check? Like maybe they'd give a discount to Hollywood yeah. Park businesses. If there is, and, and I then can maybe find out. we would yeah. subsidize that cost. Right. So there's options. Yeah. If I can find out something between now and, and then, I will I absolutely bring it. I'll, I'll find out what I can. Well, who owns the, uh, I mean, who, who is the contract with? What is the name of the entity? Outfront Media. Outfront Media? Outfront Media. Outfront Media? Yeah, by the way, and when that was originally done, it was not Outfront Media. But no, Outfront they Media, sold it. Right. It was Burkett Media, and Burkett is a much smaller advertising group, and they sold to a larger company. And the larger company honored that verbal agreement and until... Now they're just kind of like, hey, we don't, we've got paid advertisers, so they're just pushing back on that. Okay, so they are the ones that are renting the the land, the sure, land, sure, and they own the signs. Yes. Okay. So which one is the current out front or Burkett? Out front. Out front. On the on those two signs, the city has contracts with, I think, three contracts with. I think it's five locations. I, I I'm just curious car. because uh, are the larger um, providers of these kinds of billboards like uh, Clear Channel or Lamar, right. those kind of in there? Yeah, Clear Channel mm -hmm. has some of these. We have in two, here. I think Clear Channel, or is it yeah. three? And We've got five of, total. Right, I think Clear Channel has the other three. And, they, and we have agreement, similar agreements with those. As well, uh, with, you know, revenue to the city okay, so, and the right of way. So how many of the five are out front? Two. two. And two are Clear Channel? I believe it's three with Clear Channel. Two with Clear Channel. I think that is. Either way, there's five. And what it is is Burkett never did give us the free advertisement. They uh, set up the the contract, they got the the deal with the city, and then they found a buyer that bought them out fairly soon, and that was the deal to kind of sweeten it for Hollywood Park, so we would go on and sign it over with the new company. They said, we'll give you free advertisement. But so apparently it was never put in writing. I don't know about that version of it, but... That's I, I, correct. I, okay. I, I just know that, yeah, they sold to up, up front. Okay. And so all five are not... Uh, renewable until 2039? Uh, two of the five aren't up for renewal until 2039. The rest aren't until 2045 and 2049. 
So for topic two, I did not go to Holiday Inn since I could not offer anything to them, which is topic two, because last meeting we talked about that and I said I was going to go to Holiday Inn about the billboard. Yeah. I did not do so because of this new well, situation. If, and if I can, actually, we could advertise for them when it's time for it to be Hotel Motel. You mean the city would pay for it? Yep. I mean, that's just an okay. option. I think that's a good idea. Again, we need to get the costs <laughs> from the Yeah, we need to double the grace. Yeah. yeah, that's an option. I'll, I'll, once we have more on the costs, so we'll, we'll get there. I've been working on, on it for like a month, and we have not talked on the phone. Okay. Anybody else have anything about the business? Moving on to number three, update and discuss brochure packet for Voight Center leases. Everybody looked up. Mm -hmm. uh, just so you all know, as she gets ready, uh, this Katie Glover, everybody, but um, I emailed all this. I, I put this out there. The, the version I printed and emailed to you all, I think, has been, uh, I think yesterday we got an upgrade to it. So it may be slightly different than this, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, now is the time to provide some feedback. Yes. So just to give you an idea, the when you print it out on an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper, it's not it's skewed. So what it's going to be, it's going to be this size. So it's ten inches by fourteen, just to give you an idea. And do y'all have any questions or feedback? I'm not really sure how to do this. Um, well, I, I've got. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got one comment. Okay. Hold on. Let me see what I think it was. A, and it's just me being picky because everybody thinks we're a subdivision. On the third page, the history of Hollywood Park. Yes. Uh, towards, the, I think it is the last sentence. Uh, it is not just a subdivision, a brick and mortar. We're not a subdivision. We're a town. Town. Sorry. What part? It's uh, this in the last this first one. Sentence. First sentence. And I guess I'm just, just sensitive to it because order, on next door everybody thinks we're a subdivision uh, and not a yeah, town sure. that we don't have the same mayor and everything. Right. Of course. Cool. You also want to remove the and from that from the conjunction. Yep. After the comma. After the comma. It's a. Would it be a colon? Yeah, anyway. You can do a colon or a semicolon, you got one. And a promising future, families are together. Still, fine. Um, Wait, let her get to that. You see where it says brick and mortar and it's. Okay. Got it noted. Thank you. One of the things that I saw in here, and I'm just th this may be just my own personal, is when uh, on the Void Center features, everything that you need. Um, what was kind of, I, I guess for me, is that listing out how many we have of dishwashers and ice machines seemed kind of, a, it, it seemed to have bogged it down to me that that's all that I could focus on. Sure. Um, just taking off those numbers of, you know, Unless we have two refrigerators, the presumption is that we would have, you know, singular being one. Um, and then do we have... I have a question uh, on that. So I, are you saying all the numbers? Because don't you think it's important that people know there's 74 parking spaces? No, no, no I'm talking about oh, one refrigerator, one oven, one microwave. Yeah, yes, yes ma'am. I think it's going to be pretty important to a catering company to know yeah. they're going to need to know because they're going to ask the question how many refrigerators you got how much how much walk-in do you have is it important to maybe say and you know, maybe where, where's the refrigerator <clears throat> but is that what i thought we were i thought this was more cater, catered not to caterers <laughs> um directed towards towards businesses to let them know and that when when someone is doing party <clears throat> excuse <clears throat> i apologize that um, if they do need caterers, then that's another, that's a ne next level 
of the of the question. I'm I'm thinking that this is by the way, great job on it. It looks it looks great. But um I, I thought this was kind of a a packet for businesses to to bring in the interest, not having a a outline of how many exact uh or to to cater towards caterers. It's part of the leasing package, so it is important to have these specifications and especially if they uh whoever the potential leasee is or you know uh, renter user mm -hmm. is if they have uh, materials from competing or alternative venues then it's good for them to have side-by-side -side comparisons okay I, I have a question on the refrigerator um i don't really mind what the number is but i would think on a refrigerator maybe you want to say how much uh out, what the volume capacity is on something like that i don't know i'm not in catering but i would think something like that might be helpful yeah they're going to want all the information they can possibly get right. now that, that does go back to alan's exactly how much information do you want to put on this but yeah the caterer is going to want to know all of yeah, it yeah 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 katie under the audio visual yes the state of the art acoustic is acoustic that's misspelled yes it is <laughs> thank you Probably phonetically, it was correct. <laughs> you want to say size of screen or something like that? Maybe. What'd you say, Patrick? Uh, the, the dimensions of the screen or something. The projector screen? or The projector and the screen. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't know what those dimensions are, but. It, I'll have, you'll have to give me that information because it wasn't in the sure. rental agreement. No, I'm sure. As well as the fridge or the refrigerator, if. Uh, yeah, all right. The photos are very nice. Yeah. I'm glad you like them. I found the entire presentation very, very nice, but I do have a suggestion. Um, on the first page of photos where you have the different, um, the display of, you know, whether the tables are covered or they're, you've got meeting tables and then you've got a picture of people actually using that, mm -hmm. the room. Um, I would switch out the picture of the people with the um, picture at, towards the back at hosting memorable occasions um, with the red tablecloths and, and, and the clay settings. I would put that with the first page of the pictures presentation because it gives you three different uh, views mm -hmm. of that. And because the picture, you know, I, I mean, I'm sure the picture with the people is useful, but it's not as oh, just appealing right. up front as as the picture with the red tablecloths. But yet, you can still use the uh, picture with the people on the page of having a memorable occasion. Hmm. And that's just a suggestion I have, because it's- Because the problem I'm running into yes. is these were taken on a phone a camera, oh. and they're very low resolution, and I bumped them up as- Verify that, not oh. the nice ones, the red tablecloth. Yes, the red tablecloth. <laughs> anything that has decorations in it, um, such as the Mardi Gras, or anything with tablecloths, such as that, was taken on a phone camera, and I did edit them in Photoshop and bump them up, but they're going to look much better in a smaller well, area. It, it could be that small. I'll try. I'll, um, I'll that, see I mean, what it looks I, like. I don't know. It's just something to consider. I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying it or should maybe, be Or maybe, I mean, p part of the reason I don't mind having the people, though, is because we're trying to promote this for businesses. Mm -hmm. And that, that was the whole point of having that business meeting that day maybe switch it or make it a little smaller so that they're not just the same size or something that it gets sure. a little less attention to it. It's I, just that... I can. That, that, I'll mess around with it. I, I don't know if that's very um, typical of a... It, it may be very typical of a business meeting, the way it looks, but maybe not something that you want to imagine. You want to, you know, something a little bit more... 
people look, dressed a little bit better. <laughs> well, the it's heading says it's an image thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. The heading says the comfort of a luxurious experience, and that probably that picture probably throws off that, that with that heading. Safety vest. I, I think that I think the picture is important, maybe in a different spot, because that shows businesses uh, team building. It could be somebody that's selling insurance or benefits to their different companies that will rent the void. It, it, so I think it represents well. It just kind of sticks out a little bit from the pictures that's there. I think uh, something else. Just for consideration, um, yeah. The the Void Center, uh, perhaps the 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 floor plan. I forgot the word now. The floor plan. So you could see, you know, someone that's having an event. Um, they can see, okay, well, this is how much space we have. Um, might be helpful as an information. And then also, and I missed it on here. And perhaps it's going to be on a on a separate. Um, the the pricing is that I thought that that would be no, a, we don't want to have that. Well, we're not going to have that at all to because it, it, it may subject change. To change. And once you print this, you've got the cost. I'm on board. I'm on board. Yeah, so we'll just have the interchangeable price sheet, you know, just on a separate we, sheet of paper. Okay, yeah. yeah, okay. We list it on the website right now. And then... But I, I think that a floor plan just to kind of give somebody a, yeah, a look yeah, to I see. Yeah. Do y'all have? Yeah. A floor plan? Yeah, I'm okay. emailing Kelly right now. Perfect. And I guess maybe that's something for Public Works to decide. Do they want to have a sheet on that in, in to the, the side pockets, or would they want to send that themselves because they have the opportunity to have someone on the phone call with them if someone were to call? I mean... It's on the website now, isn't it? All the cost... The, all the prices are on the, the website all the now, on the website, mm -hmm. sure. so probably should have like an insert on the prices. Yeah, I think it would be like in one of the pockets right. among the things. Mm -hmm. sure, sure. When they come in, uh, just like the rental agreement, it would be. Yeah. Great job. I have a quick question. Yes. This is supposed to be the front of the folder. Yes. I would uh, recommend taking the email addresses off mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. putting them on the uh, sheet inside the folder. Okay. Because I've been busted before with that, with people leaving the company. And then we got to replace all the folders. Okay. Uh, that's a good point. Them. That's a great point. Okay. That is a good point. I would just have the phone number and the website. And okay. Do you, I just was thinking about this earlier. That's Do you right. want the address on the front instead of on the inside? Front's great. That's my yeah. It's okay. good the phone numbers have the address and the website. Okay, perfect. And those email addresses are on the very last. Yeah. So I think if you Google it, it comes up 701, but the rock says 700, so mm -hmm. she went with 700. <laughs> You're going to get there either way. <laughs> and you said remove the phone number or just the... I would, I would just have the address and the website. Yeah, okay. yeah front and back. Yeah, but we can leave the phone number, right? Yeah, the phone number. Yeah, the phone number. Yeah, the email's got to go. Got it. Okay. And Alan's right, we need a floor plan. Yeah. And then I, I just think it would just be... Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice ah, absolutely. absolutely. And it's features page. Just somehow you can maybe combine some of these so the bullets are larger. Oh, that's good. The problem is I'm running into space issues. Um, because I have to stay within my margins. If we print outside those margins, you're running, we call it the safety area. area. If you go outside of that, it's potential of not printing being cut off. And it'll be double this size anyway, right? Because well, this is it. Like what it's printed is, it's going to be 14 inches high, but it's right. still going to look like that. Yeah. So what I can do is I can kind of, I can go through and tweak the the top of <laughs> each page and make that a little bit smaller where the white space is and the heading. It, am I correct? This um, this is one side of that packet. Yes. That'll be on eight and a half by eleven or or bigger. Uh, it's or it's going to be this size. Like right. This? So this will be. Yes. This. Yes. There you go. But Thanks. so even when it goes to a larger size, it's all going to be compacted into the center. No. Okay. So no, this it'll get larger. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It will. It. It's deceiving a little bit 
on here just because when you do print it this big, it's, it's good. I mean, it's going to be large. But I can certainly try to break it up a little bit, maybe do two columns instead of one, but we're, I might have to cut out a few words on some of these. Just because when you're putting in the table lengths and the dimensions of that and then the description of the tables, the sentence is long, so it's hard to put it in two columns. Well, so uh, on the... Oh, excuse me. The page where it's the features listed for the Voight Center? Yes. Instead of having um, the saying, could we have sure. like a picture? Uh, yes, we can. I'm just running into repetitive pictures. Oh. And then um, like the low resolution pictures. Uh, I can see what I can do, but it's, you know, the building's not that big. Yeah. We don't have, it's not like a home where you have different rooms and it looks very different and fluid mm -hmm. and so I think let me look. What would always ask what would you want to see when you open it? Would you want to see a picture of the butterfly garden, something of the building, the front of the building? Um, so if you're, if you're looking to rent this space, the first thing you're going to look at is the cover and open it. Do you want to see the front of the building, the inside, or the patio? It just... Or a decorated party room. Okay, so when you're saying when I open the packet uh -huh. for the first page? Well, the, where the big... Quotas. That's going to be your first image that you see. Mm -hmm. This one? Yes, ma'am. So it'll be page. What do you think, Martha? Or do you like the same? I mean, that, that's fine with me. <clears throat> Her question was that's what kind of picture would we want? You know, if it wasn't that like quote. If we're going to make an impact. Right off the bat, like right on the front page, what what would you want to see? And I think if it's leading up to we have everything we need and it's listing everything, I would have a complete setup room. That would just be me, just to show it decorated and the tables out, and it shows how large the space is and can be utilized. That would be my recommendation. But if y'all would like to see something else. I can certainly put that in. Well, unless there's like a wedding this weekend and the photographer's willing to send us a photo. Yeah. It would be decorated. Do you know anyone who's Is, had an event there? There's Is with the HPCA. Had a photographer. Oh. There's an event on uh, That's a great Friday picture, and actually. Saturday. Huh? Is that one? If, you, if you're looking for another introductory picture? And that is pretty. Also, what did you have in mind for Holiday Inn? Do you want it to be a separate sheet that's in the folder, or do you want it to be incorporated into the brochure? I would do it a separate sheet. Would it be in the in the little pocket, or would it be a permit? Yeah, that's do, a, do they that have, was the question. I, does the Holiday Inn have something that we're not having to reinvent? We can just take it and put it in? Well, we, should, we had we pictures went, uh, taken. Of it. Oh, I mm -hmm. but I didn't know if they already with their own marketing. Had a slug. I'm sure they do. It it would be very right. easy to create a one. I'm sure they've got a they've got a three, three fold or four fold that we'd slide in a pocket. Either way. Yeah. From their website, there's prob I mean the photos are there, so it's just filling in. You know. And it just I mean, needs to say if you're if, if you're gonna. I mean, it has to relate to the Voight Center. If you're going to be, yes. you know, running out of town guests, you know, that, corporate please speakers, consider, right? Please consider staying in, Holiday Inn. In, at the Holiday Inn in Hollywood Park. Yeah. So Do you think the eight? Oh, sorry. 
Uh, I was trying to, I don't, trying to think of a place to get pictures. And the HPCA, I mean, with their Easter and Christmas at the Voigt's, you know, parties they've had in the past. But that's not really something that someone would probably rent it for. That's like a neighborhood gathering. Are you talking about for photos? For photos. I'm just trying to think of, I thought we were talking a little while ago about you know, having a shortage of photos that, that highlights the Voigt Center. But we're and wanting having, to rent it, not Right, but let's say do. they yeah. have one that's but, like the adult event. You know, that would, could be assumed have, that yeah, that was a network one, yeah. Yeah. event. Yeah, I mean, they, they have their adult people have cocktail Christmas party on Friday. parties and other parties there. So they could do that. Yeah, no, I, I'm just, I'm trying to think of places that... No. Well, do we want to, I mean, I know we organize it toward business, but do, I would think we'd want at least one wedding photo in there. One wedding reception. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a business. Why don't you go I guess to right, and that hold one. up a, a toast? <laughs> we can all dress up and we can uh, fabricate a photo. <laughs> we, could, we could create an event. <laughs> We're creating memories. So I'll go wrap my tux. I'm sure it fits. I think there's a wedding. Gosh, I'm down there every weekend. I feel like there's, I see a there's wedding. I see day. a wedding or a reception every weekend. There's an all-day event on Saturday, but I, I, I don't know what it is at the moment but there is one all day on saturday do you have a i'm sure you have a list or a ledger of people who have rented it and what they used it for do they have to tell you like fill out anything and tell you who the photographer is or do they just bring their own, just bring their own. i'm just curious if we could we if y'all could reach out to them and get their photographer's information yeah but you would probably have to purchase the pictures oh, yeah. from them. But at least it's already done, yeah. and it's just something to think about. Mm -hmm. right. And, just show up with a and get a copyright <laughs> certificate. I don't know if that's a wedding this weekend or not either. Delane, do we not have any pictures from the Christmas party that we had there? The only uh, party, uh, pictures we have is with Santa. Don't we have a waiver that goes out with a lease agreement that your photos have the potential to be used in advertising opportunity for the place? I'd have to read it to know. For sure. sure. Yeah, can we add it? Exactly. Yeah. But does that it's really have joke. to be added? No, it's not a joke at all. We're not the yeah. one taking the pictures. Oh, but, but, but it would give us the right to contact the photographer because oh. they've already waived the opportunity. Okay. We can contact the photographer and get a picture, so, picture of what they had. I think we should have a waiver for that. Sure. Okay. When that's revised, yeah. which will be. Yeah, we, we need to put that in there. So rather, so we, are we kind of done with this? And just kind of see what we can maybe get you a couple photos? Sure. So in and the pockets, that will be the restaurants, and then y'all will decide about the hotel, if it's going to be a page by itself or in the pocket or what we're doing. No, it's going to I think we're going to put it in the pocket. We need to put, yeah. We yeah. absolutely have to put something in the, of the hotel. And then we'll probably end up buying uh, an advertising space and a billboard so we got our we got our bases covered so we can't be challenged on it wouldn't hurt. and be done. So, Katie, you might get an updated list of the restaurants from Patrick because okay. they kind of seem to have been changing a bit. I, d I do have your one, but that was almost six months ago. Yeah, so. it's, it's changed for sure. It's, Excuse me. It's on the website. I don't. I think it's been up. It, uh, it gets Is updated anytime there's a Siva. Tang slash Saigon Soul slash Ramen. It's Mr. Ramen. <laughs> it, I don't know when it's going to open, but it, it Mr. Ramen is is uh, supposed to open, but I, so I haven't been over there in a minute. Is it now? Mr. Ramen. Mr. Ramen. I haven't been over there, um, so now I don't have an update on that. I did have an update that. Sorry to get off topic. Um, there's there's something else going in real close to that too, and I you know, just blanked on it. But well, we don't have the CFO completed. Right. They, so when we have it, I, obviously I'll. Email they said you all. Rose Bistro was going to be an yeah. Asian type restaurant, but it they also crazy. talked about the Pink Katrina being one also. So I would like to think they'd have some kind of clause in there where you don't get a bunch of people competing. Yeah. Well. And then I, apparently the, the, there's the landlord would probably. Yeah, that's, he, that would, yeah, that, that's what he would yeah. want to be, be careful of, too. But, yeah, like I said, when I get the CFO completed, then I'll let you know what's in there, what the name oh. is. Okay. 
Or we move into four? Um, can I, before we move, yeah. so while, while this project eventually is going to be essentially handed off so that the city can administer hot funds <laughs> for it, because <laughs> that occasionally someone asks me about it. Occasionally, yeah. <laughs> uh, at that point, you know, that, that project will be launched, and so we just need, we need either that blessing or we need to move forward so that um, we get the Void Center covered, the hotel is advertised, yep. and, and then we can move on. And uh, the, the, because the hotel motel funds are restricted that the city oversees, and we would just move forward on it once we know that all that is yeah. completed. And we obviously know there's a few edits here, but other than that, I don't so know what else we need to do. When do we hand it off? At what stage? Well, um, because of the costs associated with it, you could, the hotel motel costs, if y'all are done essentially launching the project, the hotel motel could, could pay for pay for the printing, et cetera. Right. And then that, it's no longer an EDC project. In fact, it, we need to pay for the printing, et cetera. The city, city funds need to pay for it. So it's then a, all we if really- If you're done with your edits, basically. All we really need to do is just talk about this, which we have, mm -hmm. and now we say go forth and yeah, do great are, things. Are you good with the edits you've given, or do you want to see it one more time and then hand it off? How do you want to do it? I think you ought to see it one more time. I agree. <laughs> okay. So let's have it, let's see it one more time, and then let's hand it off and have the city pay for it. What a deal. <laughs> okay. Um, one thing I do want to point out is the print estimates we received are six months old and supplies have gone up as everyone knows oh, know. so we are going to have to get a new estimate and i just wanted to make sure you were all forewarned about that you know if if, if the lead time is as bad as on, on like everything else is just printing is a normal like it, um it just depends on who your printer is and if they have a good paper supply built up so i'm not really sure sure we just want to be in a place where sure. we know the company's going to be around. If you give it all the money, get you back on Thursday, right? Okay, that's fine. Right. And we, once we get in contact with the printer again, they can give us a timeline, a true sure. timeline. Of course. So that. Sure. I'm um, not in a rush. I just want to make sure that. It's not going to take a year. Right. And, yeah. then, <laughs> and then let's say, and the other side is we run out of those in, in a couple of years, mm -hmm. however many we print. We run out of some, we know who to contact to get, to get it. And, sure. And not lose that contact. So yeah. That's what it's about. Okay. okay. Now, Katie, yes, don't sir. run off because I thought we had talked that she would handle the welcome kit also. Or have we? No, we think about the welcome kit. Is that what we said? That's what we had mentioned, and I, uh, I thought, Christy, that that, uh, that that communication was going to be passed on, and I apologize for that. I dropped off on that follow up. But yes, I also wanted to. Speak with you. Speak with you about uh, helping us with the the welcome kit as well. I will uh, if I can get your contact information. I'll follow up with you. Uh, do you have a card? I do. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I do. Brand new, spanking new. By the way, uh, the uh, QR codes uh, ordered those. Those are down on the Voight Center. Thanks. You know, I haven't looked at them. I gave them to Kelly and he put them up. I mean, it is kind of tinted, the windows. Oh, yeah. You think they're not. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they definitely are. Yeah. Uh, but they're there. Um, and he's got the extras because you can only buy a minimum amount, obviously. So, But, uh, yeah, we have a couple of those up, just so you know, so that people know they can, if they happen to look at the Voight Center and don't know what it is, they can go to the website. Happens a lot. Alan, did you want to discuss anything about the nothing? No, Just I'll, wait till I'll, next I'll, time. I'll okay. wait till next time. Okay. With the stickers, um, as you get that design, and that's that's kind of the hold on that. So next time we'll we'll have your. Uh, I'll, I'd like, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I would like. Um, did we have? Did we? We came to an agreement last month on the design. Um, that that we were good with for the the stickers is that correct? Am I remembering correctly? I think that was that was the Voice Center ones, and then we were going to uh, yeah. I'll 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 talk with you. A little, uh, sure. I'll talk with you more. 
Okay. Thank you for coming. Yes, of course. She's got it. Oh, she's going to do what now? I'm sorry. Well, I'll tell you about the website, but I was going to ask. Oh, that's right. We were thinking about getting her to help us, too. Well, yeah, I'm meeting with her on Friday, but oh, okay. I just didn't want her to sit here. Okay, go ahead. I'm here, so it's fine. <laughs> do you want to go Unless ahead? you want to talk about Santa Claus. Who doesn't want to talk about Santa Claus? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'd love to talk about Santa Claus. Hey, um, do we have a Santa Claus? We don't because he canceled on me. Oh. And um, I am now, I've gotten... You got a, a lump of coal. I did get a lump of coal, <laughs> which, which is amazing because I thought my karma and my good behavior was really out of uh, the stratosphere. But um, I, I, have, uh, I have been in communication with... Uh, Santa Express, which is a, a Santa company that uh, that I had gotten quotes from in the past, uh, they have W nine background check. I am trying to get. I don't like the person that they submitted, um, so I'm just trying to get one of the prices for two of their other Santas. So this is like bad Santa. It's just like <laughs> bad Santa. It's the same. But but they are background checked and and they do have insurance which uh, was an important thing for me, but uh, since the the other Santa uh, canceled on me, um, I'll have that. If I also have that twenty five hundred was the top end of our budget uh, yes. set aside for this, so um, the most recent one was twenty four hundred. So I'm trying to see what the other two are also like. The budget includes the. Out, so. If needed. <laughs> yes. Bad Santa. Also, um, I did. I did want to um, follow up. Do we need to get what permissions or clearances do we need to get from anyone from the shops that we are going to be bringing the Santa in? I don't know if we need to start planning that now or as we get closer to it to get the okays. I know we had talked about the going, one of the locations was to the salon, um, which is a, basically it's, it's a, a handful of independent contractors. Um, but do we need, I mean, who, does anyone know, you know? Uh, I if, just called the managers the day before and said, I would like to bring Santa in. And they said, bring him. Okay. Well, here, and I would suggest not doing it the day before because it, we want their buy-in and maybe even per, they can, so they have a chance to promote. Oh yeah. That coming, and then we have a chance to promote that too. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. bottom line, I was saying you just call the manager. Yeah, we, it's not something that we need to, to, to sort out in June. It it, it no. can be. Sure. We, we've got a little bit more time. But Alan, but in Dece early December, obviously, you let me know when it's squared away, and then uh, and we can. Yeah, I, restaurants and I, I just want to make sure that if there's anything that we need, you know, any written clearance that we need, uh, um, you know, is there, a, is there a property manager? I think yeah. you all have talked before. If there's an overarching yeah. kind yes, of authority, I would mm -hmm. definitely loop them in and they might have something already for other entities to come and do yeah. things on the property. Mm -hmm. And they would also be, uh, you know, in contact with the owner, manager, whoever for every tenant yeah. would have a a good contact with them so i think that'd be my recommendation and they might have something that you know a calendar something you mm -hmm. can put it on that's that's across the whole shopping center and then they send you the w9 the the santa sends either one of us we'll get e, to either one of you okay that's that's what i thought so, thanks. yeah you need we'll to send it. it to us so we're tabling four and five correct it'll be on the agenda next time yes ma'am we're not a table. I mean, we're just moving on. There's still still things working. Okay, now we're going to. Uh, oh, did anybody have any questions for Alan or any ideas? Um, I'm going to. Well, I know you checked. You're checking with Santa Express, but I've got one more. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That I mean, I'll send you uh, until the paperwork signed. I'm. I'm not. Like I said, I. I was going with Jeremy before uh, he he dropped out on me. So it's still fair game until. Okay. Until we we settle on somebody. Okay. If you, I mean, if Shay wants, to, you know, do, do, do you want to? Okay, all right. You know, I just wanted to give you the opportunity. No, thank you. Okay. Now we'll start with the old business. Discuss and consider approval of a website to promote the Voight Center, Martha. 
Okay, yeah, so that's, um, there's a handout uh, that's got a little bit of information. It's not uh, anything like in depth, but I just wanted to give you an idea um, of what's next with this. Um, I spoke briefly with Katie um, Glover, who's here, um, about it and got a little bit of information. And when I'm going to meet with her on Friday, uh, just I think she just needs more information in order to kind of really you know, find a direction with this project. But what I can tell you is that the project, <clears throat> and I, I have been looking at, you know, talking to website people for a little while, um, and basically it's a simple website uh, with maybe some, about six pages uh, with a menu and uh, not a whole lot of functionality other than being able to download a a contract because we're not going to schedule on there. We're not going to take payments on that website at this time anyway. Um, and so I don't know if this wasn't like approved approved, but I feel like it would make sense to just move forward with Katie Glover and her services since she's already done a lot of work for um, the Voight Center. And the, the website, um, we were looking at that and we were, I kind of told her that I think we should build it on a platform called Wix. Um, and so in the next section of my handout, it discusses some of the fees. Um, the initial website and design fee um, would be at an hourly rate of $50 uh, to Katie Glover. And the monthly website hosting fee um, would be about $20, $22 per month, um, and that in, it, that doesn't include tax. There's tax involved, and I don't know if government entities pay. No. The, okay, so scratch all that other business that I wrote there. Um, you, you, there's a form that okay. we can provide right. that, that gives the exemption on the sales tax. Right, yeah, I so, work for a nonprofit, so I know exactly what you're talking anyway, about. It's no more than $24 a month. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um, so I don't know that we can pay it on an annual basis, but we can definitely. We can. Okay. It, it wasn't giving me that option when I was looking through the. Okay. okay. <clears throat> um, the domain name is $12 a year. So after the in initial expense of, of designing and building it, um, which we, we kind of don't know what that is exactly at this moment. Um, the, the cost to maintain the website would be about $300 per year. Uh, the minor updates would be, and edits could be handled by um, an EDC board member. Uh, and if we had to make any kind of significant, significant design changes or modifications, um, that would be a separate thing for another time at an hourly fee that's to be determined. Um, uh, again, the unknown right now is as how long it's going to take to um, design and build it. Um, the good news is that Katie has all the photos and copyrights and wording and things like that already. Um, and it's, her rate is $50 an hour. Uh, I guess what I would need, uh, and I don't know how to... Remind me, Patrick, how I asked for this. Um, I think I just need your blessing to kind of pursue this project um, and then just, you know, provide updates as we're working through it. Is that? That sounds good. I think. Since I don't have a, a figure. I think, I think the concern was um, on the project, like some of the projects we have going, is that do we want, like, after tonight, can they? make a certain amount of progress and then do they have to wait a month till their next meeting and they have to wait a month for the next meeting right and then suddenly there's just not a lot getting done and so at some point we just kind of launch the project and, and trust a, a small group of people to get the job done mm -hmm. so that's she's looking for that kind that's of direction it. yeah and if y'all want to put a my only recommendation if you want to put a cap on mm -hmm. the amount that if, i don't think this is going to take you know hundreds of hours of work but for whatever reason if you know she approaches a cap it's a good rule to have her, you know, have 
come back and get a report and get back, reauthorized. Yeah. So, Austin, uh, I have a question. Yes, uh, years ago, somebody on EDC wanted to pay for Wi-Fi down at the park where everybody would have free Wi-Fi. And at that time, the attorney's, attorney told us we could not, the EDC does not make monthly payments. So I don't know if, the, so, if that was correct or what, so I'm asking you. So with regard to, like, maintaining a website where you're committing to, like, a year or something. So the way that works is you, you as long as it's, even if it's not written in the contract, it's implied, but usually you'll tell the vendor, whoever you're signing the contract with, if for some reason EDC ran out of money, you're not on the hook for that. And so, in other words, you can't commit money that you're, you know, for next year that you have to, because we don't know the sales tax at that point. So as long as you and a vendor are on the same page, any vendor that does business with the government is going to understand that. Um, and it's usually baked into the contract to say, assuming money is allotted, you know, we're going to honor this payment. But that's probably what they were referring to. You couldn't have an open-ended commitment to say we're going to pay for Wi-Fi indefinitely because you might not have Maybe, maybe that's what they meant. I, th I took it that we could not, we could pay X amount of dollars for something, but we couldn't make payments. You just can't obligate yourself beyond the point at which you know you're going to have the money. So like within your annual budget, yeah, budget, you can obligate yourself for that year, but you can't then. For future. So unless years. you're going to allot the money. This every year. year we so every, every year is a one-year option contract. Yeah. 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 But you assume renewal unless something goes long. Okay. Goes, goes straight. That's With the exception of saying we're going to spend three years of money this year so that we're prepaid for three years. You can do that. But you just can't commit to say, at the next year's budget, we guarantee we're going to pay you this year. Like, so would this website then have like links for the Holiday Inn? Sure. Kind of what we're doing for the pages would be like a link. I'll be very consistent. To yes. that. Yeah. Let's look at that. Yeah, sort okay. of like the, 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 the digital sister to. Okay. The, okay. So. Now, if we have, uh, like she said, the Holiday Inn in there, then is the city paying for this now? It could very well. Could very well. Yeah. Anything. So we wouldn't we, even have to worry about. There, there's almost a sense, and I'll be very careful. So there's almost a sense in which the city wants to pay as much as they can, and it needs to be material. Uh, that was the word I'm looking for, mm -hmm. so that we can't be challenged on it. Okay. If we're promoting, yeah. But promoting the Holiday Inn is, uh, you know. Yeah, but it needs to be material funds spent. It, it needs to. It, mean, it needs to meet that threshold, whatever that is. So we I can't. Like we can't spend. This is going way beyond. We can't spend 20 bucks and go, okay, we've met our obligation. It right. needs to be a material amount of money. Right. Where it needs to have, like what Christy said, a, a link there where you could click on the Holiday Inn. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, right. Okay, so do we need to vote or just um, everybody show hands who's for this? Or? Are we voting on an amount, on, on a dollar amount? Do you want well, to? Well, no, because I think the this town's is approval, going to Except for, for discussion, and you can vote uh, for the website. It's... It's set for discussion and vote. You can. You can set an amount. Um, you could, for a cap at least. Um, and that way, once it's approved off of old business, then it moves up to approved business projects, and then we get updates. And, and on a project like this, if you don't approve a cap, I, there's, you know, it's okay. It's, this isn't something that's going to run into the thousands of dollars between now and next month. That, that will fall in line with one of the uh, upcoming agenda items we have about budget stuff anyway, so it'll be okay. Well, we so, don't have to worry about the amount because another source of funds is going to take care of it anyway. That's a, yeah, at, that's at least too. part of it. That's at least too. putting up for some I'd of it. I need to conflict those, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, Austin, what should we do? It can just be a motion to direct Ms. Newton and Ms. Glover to work, you know, on the website between now and... Give her that permission to, yeah, to give move her forward with the project, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. At the rates described, right. you know, that she's described. If you cap it, um, well, I like your I, I like your plan, uh, <laughs> but if we did cap it, it would have to include the not just the the initial expense, but also what we're going to spend for the rest of the year. Yeah. We could do that later. I mean, oh, okay. they're going to we do that within the budget, back. and then also, yeah, if it ever does get turned over and it's strictly hotel motel tax, then your cap wouldn't be as effective. Right. So it's not that right. Relevant, yeah. This is really for just whatever initial. Expenditures are made between now and when it comes back. Okay. Which, you know, twenty thousand dollars would be twenty hours of work. Yeah. Or, you know. Do I have a motion to move forward with this for uh, Martha and Katie to get together and come up with a plan? 
I move to move forward with Katie Glover and Martha Newton to work on the website to promote the Foyt Center. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any nays? Passes. Thank you. That'll be up on approved business now. <sighs> okay. And that's good. That's progress. Um, and then keep in mind, uh, a few of these projects, whether it's the website, the brochure, uh, billboards, things like that, they're all kind of tying together now. We, we like that consistency. Mm -hmm. So we'll have really good, like, just consistent colors yep. and formats and same messaging, hashtags, etc. So that'll be good marketing. It's materials. branding. There you go. So, Katie, is this working well with you getting pretty much all the little... Congratulations, Katie. <laughs> good job, Katie. <laughs> yes. Um, let me say, I do want to mention, we kind of, Martha and I talked about it, and this can really help cut down on costs, is to come with a, kind of a wireframe of what you want the website to look like. So that means um, it can just be bullet points of what you want on the cover, or the... I, I say make it look like the brochure. Okay. Be consistent. Okay. I think you'll be good. Get that going with the brochure. Y'all two can figure it out. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Whenever it's live, obviously, some other time, then we'll switch that link on the website. Yeah. Moving on to number two, discuss and consider approval of the installation of electric vehicle charging station. Shay? Thanks, Katie. Be careful going home. Thank you. The person I wanted to come tonight actually had a conference, so he couldn't make it tonight. But um, he was basically going to do a highlight presentation for us, basically the bullet points on this page. But so I want to just use common sense. This is something I recommend that either Glaney and I or a couple of people go over and talk to the developer at the Galleria. We walk through these, these bullet points. And if they're interested, Mark and his team want to do a site survey to, do, to basically decide what type of uh, like transformers, short gear stuff they already have in place, what a cost may be, what their options may be. And then he can come back and present that to us. We can see what the numbers may be. And then go back to the developer, say John Smith, who it may be, say hey, what your cost would be. This is where we may be able to help you out. There are some tax benefits in there as well. And once Mark and his team figure out what the, what, what need, what's needed, he can go and research what tax benefits may be available, what tax cuts may be available. That's right. They are local. Everyone says Canada. They are local. They, got, they just got bought out by Westco. Uh, they're by the airport. They've done this for a couple of different places here in San Antonio. And uh, like I said, I think our, our best bet would be go talk to the developer at the Galleria and let Mark and his team do a site survey and just determine what they need and where it could be put and located. Cool. But I think this is a quick little highlight for the developer, which he probably knows most of this anyway. We'll just kind of give them a quick rundown of what they can possibly foresee with. And their charging stations do Teslas and all, all the above, not just a Tesla. And Mark said that's what we're seeing more and more options go with the Tesla. Now, it's not in their cars, the Tesla cars, but anybody who uses an Apple map or anything like that, the charges show up. Would it be with inside Tesla's own proprietary mapping, too, in their cars? Will it come up as a, as a site for them? Now, Mark said he, he does not think it does because Tesla is just me, he's Tesla, but he doesn't own one, so he's like, well, not real for sure. But we can probably d dive into that and find out. Okay. Is this, is this the only uh, provider no, it's in not. this area? No, it's just willing to kind of give a site survey. Just to, and what they'll do, he also said they'll help write an RFP or RFQ for the developer as well. And he sends it out to as many providers as there are in the area. W what about Tesla's stations? We can, we can give it to them. I just thought it would be best for uh, just... Because I, I thought I heard in the news that Tesla agreed to make theirs... Um, Applicable to all brands. They may have. I'm just saying. I think we just need to talk to the developer first and just see if they're open to it. Okay. And I mean, because the site survey is going to be whether it's Tesla, whether it's Ford's electrical, whatever's going in, he can just determine what they need. And that's probably going to be his first question: What's this going to cost me? And they can determine what the kind of the upfront cost is going to be for the building. Because how old is the Galleria? That's one of the questions Mark asked me. I thought it's 1996. Just 
So I was 25 years old, 30 years old. I didn't know that. I just remember reading it. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the same year, same year as my house was built, and the same ugly red brick. So, so when <laughs> when Maybe you approach the, the uh, Galleria, you're saying, uh, or at least put him in contact with this guy, kind of get an, he can have a better idea of yes. his best location, how much it's going to cost, and, and he then can come back and present to us. He can present to us and see, or you all, and see if you're interested in helping him fund that. Can I uh, ask, how do y'all anticipate dealing with any questions uh, about the impact on security, theft, whatever, whether it might be a concern to the shopping center or whether it might be a concern to our police uh, force as, you know, a, what it was, what do you call them, attractive nuisance or, you know, nuisance generator. Because I have heard about uh, thefts of just the wiring in these places, and also yeah, any copper wiring fight, anyway. fights uh, breaking out among potential okay. users. So I'm just saying, when y'all uh, meet with the the uh, property owner, you might want to anticipate dealing with those kinds of concerns. Maybe have his insurance like, you know, person there too. Well, yeah, they won't know, but the insurance broker yeah. should know. Yeah. So, I mean, is that something that they want to bother their insurance company? Uh, I tried, you know, I try not to bring up any risk yeah, subjects of my insurance company. You, you have to plan for those things. Yeah. That stuff happens more and more. So just, is the first step where they come here and they brief us? I think we should go meet with the developer and see if he's giving any lessons. Sure. Go for it. And then they can cut in. Like I said, he can give us a quick breakdown of what they actually need, what the cost may be. And then there will be pros and cons, but if he's willing to put a pole hall in, there's pros and cons. Yeah. He's willing to take what that comes with that. So mm -hmm. I'll call tomorrow and okay. see. Okay. All right. We'll just keep it on this part of the agenda then. And I think this is really cool. It's really important. Okay. Does anyone have anything else to discuss with the electric vehicle charging? Do you have any more, Shay? No. Okay. Move into new business. Discuss and take possible action on budget amendments of 2022 to 23 EDC budget. Fred. Okay, on page 15 in your packet is a schedule of budget amendments that I will be recommending to council if you approve tonight. Uh, I was going to recommend these to council next week. Uh, sales tax revenue, we had budgeted $156,250. Uh, our sales tax revenue is is going to be greater this year and so I'm proposing to increase the budget to 162 six which is uh, an increase of six thousand three hundred and fifty our interest income was budgeted for five thousand two hundred and fifty but now we're earning so much better rate that uh, we've earned twenty three hundred to date but but I'm thinking I have calculated that we will uh, receive interest income of 16,000 so that's an increase of 10,750 mm -hmm. uh, supplies and I believe these are our business cards uh, we did not have anything budgeted for those we've spent 75 so far I was going to increase it to 500 I haven't seen the bill on the new set that everybody got uh, so, uh, but this should be sufficient to cover that. And then the professional fees and projects, uh, previous board of EDC had budgeted 75,000. That was for the Christmas lights and that's not going to be done in this fiscal year. And so I was going to remove that from the budget. Do you have any questions? Can that also, so the professional fees and projects, that was, as you'd mentioned, that was the number for the Christmas lights, but moving, I mean, would we want to still keep that for possible other projects that we have in the coming year? Or well, what, what, what this, is the reason this, to, to take this, it out completely? This, year, this is for the, the year that ends September 30th. Mm, so okay. in the next four months I'm, I, I'm on board now okay I'm on board now yeah you know, this was for the 
Yeah, yeah we're going to discuss that yeah. next. So, but good question. Does anybody else have any questions? Then I need y'all to approve these budget amendments so that I can present these to council next week. And, and what is the impact of, it's of just, uh, amending? Changing the, the in governmental accounting, uh, you set your budget for revenues and you set your budgets for expenditures and, and you try to fall within your budget of what you've projected for revenues and what you've projected. So, so it's a, it would be a problem for the auditors at year end if I didn't have an adjustment to supplies we d where we didn't have anything budgeted but we've got expenditures that I can understand right and we're just we're uh, we're seeing more sales tax revenue come in and and I mean, because the unspent the unspent professional fees I mean it's uh, it just means that the we're changing the projected expenditures for the next four months is that all it means? that's all it means and this, the, it's not going to, the, the Santa, for example, which will require payment prior to September, that's not going to be, um, that's not going to be impacted because we've said we have 2,500. Yeah, let's see. Um, we've got, just to look at our expenditures, we've got, um, and, and see, we've got some things budgeted. We've got 2,500 for local business outreach. That could be mm -hmm. that could be used for the Santa. Why would we pay so far in advance of the Santa? To, they, to they, reserve they, it? They require deposits. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I had that same question. I was like, it seemed awfully, awfully. So Fred, odd. we would have a line item still available for those expenditures. For 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 something like the Santa and that sort. That, that sort right. Of we've thing. we've got, uh, and I'll go over that next. But in the in the existing budget. We've got uh, twenty-five hundred dollars budgeted for local business outreach. We could we could uh, change the label on that to Santa. But the money's already allocated, so we could use that money. That right, that it could be used. Where's okay. the Where's the money for the website and the the brochures coming out of? Just on this, just for my own clarification. We have a uh, we have. Fifteen thousand budgeted for strategic, strategic marketing. Strategic okay, that, marketing. That, that's what I thought the answer was going to be, but I wanted to make sure that that I right. was following. On and then that. that may be paid by the hotel motel tax fund. In in, I, I just wanted to know for, sure. for the website, kind sure. of where since that was not something that we had talked about, right? Last yeah. go around, it, 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 it just so. is uh, luck of the draw that we've got strategic marketing, and this is what all of and it's these strategic funds. marketing, yeah, right. exactly. I'm good. So, motion to oh, so do we need to motion vote? to okay. approve? Do I have a motion to approve the budget amendments for 2022 to 2023 for the EDC budget? Motion to approve. Yeah. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Passes. Okay. Okay. Discuss and take possible action on the 2023-24 EDC proposed budget and issues related thereto. What page is that, Fred? This is starting on page 17. And basically what I did is I provided you with uh, last year's budget. So, um, and any any line items that you want to see in your budget, I can create an account for that. So you're not limited to the line items that are listed here. But sales tax revenue, uh, we just increased that budget this year to 162,000. So we can probably plan on this being 165,000. You can yes, keep sir. in mind that I was going to say that, that this, this is all preliminary discussion. Y'all are not adopting a budget tonight. This is just to gather some information and maybe a little needs and wants. And then this will, this can stay on the agenda for a little while until August when y'all approve the budget for the EDC. And then that goes to council. The council will be looking to approve it in September. Or September, thank you. 
Right. So so we'll work to where y'all are approving your your budget uh, either in August or um, your meeting in September. I thought we had, I thought we had last last meeting had talked about trying to get get this approved by July. Am I remembering that incorrectly? Where we were talking about having a, a time outside of the you can initial uh, is that something that that uh, board would be interested at all is that in July trying to get this knocked out sure 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 okay and doing it outside of our normal monthly fine with me no problems mm -mm. yeah let's try to see what we so can why do you want to do it outside of our normal one I'm hoping one day to get to a point where everything's been completed and we can take a month off <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do and then let's have it for our july monthly and then we get uh august to uh to go to the water parks how about that delaney okay all right that's what i like <laughs> i'll put it on my calendar for for july and we'll just get this all squared away and then we'll okay so uh six flags on me we've uh, <laughs> y'all heard it wow. we put minutes. we've we've increased our interest income to uh sixteen thousand. so um you know, it's a educated guess as to what our interest rates are going to be next year. Uh, so I would su I would suggest we leave it at the sixteen thousand. So that gives you a hundred and eighty one thousand of revenue. I'm I'm on the uh, page seventeen. Well, I'm looking at page it says seventeen down here. Uh huh. Slash forty two. And and on the far right hand side is uh, the where it says workspace. That was the mm -hmm. budget, and so we had for this fiscal year we had budgeted one hundred and fifty six thousand two fifty, but we previously increased that to one hundred and sixty two thousand, and so I was saying let's plan on one hundred and sixty five thousand for the coming year budget. And that, then, that's not written on here. That's no, just, just I'm just I'm just, just suggesting that. Here. And what was the interest? Leave it alone. You said or $16. the interest? Of, yeah, the interest of sixteen thousand okay. is what we had increased it to. Okay. And since we don't know what our interest rates are going to be next year, and so the sixteen plus the hundred and sixty-five is one hundred and eighty-one thousand. So your projects for next fiscal year, whether it be Santa Claus or whatever, uh, has to. You, at, at well, you at can actually time. you've got four oh, you've got four hundred thousand in your in our Texas class investments, so you can spend more than your budget, you know, if you have uh, needs for it. If you allocate from the reserves, yeah. In your budget. So, so is you are you okay on the revenue of that? <laughs> So then if you go to the next page, page 18, um, we had shown, we had budgeted in that far right-hand column, we had budgeted 150000 for capital outlay. Now, you know, you, you've did, you did all of this in the council. You're, you know, you're going to be doing that. You've already planned on that room and the Voight Center. So I don't know what else. You could, you could have fifty thousand for capital outlay. So just, this capital outlay was the fire truck plus the remodelings, right? So did we exceed this amount? We we made a payment of. Uh, there was a payment on the. I think the fire truck was last year. Yeah. With Andy. Yeah, but that, that it was on the. It was on the building, it's actually. It was on. What was your fire bay contribution? The ADCs was 125. 125. 125. Okay. Right. That was last fiscal year. Right. Okay. So the only thing that you've spent capital lay out capital outlay this year is council chambers and the Voigt Center, and when, whenever the closet, whenever we get that. So. You can budget something in capital outlay or not. It's really about gathering ideas for projects and then right. putting that 
putting a, a number to it, whether it be charging stations or signage or a 380 or whatever we do. So when we come together in July for the budget meeting, do we have an idea of some things we want to do? Well, we've, I mean, you know, this is, yeah, so you've still got a meeting possibly in June, you know. Um, I mean, there, I would think we would be wrapping up more, you know, of our ideas mm -hmm. for our June meeting and then uh, put together and present it to you as a final in July. But, but you all all need to t think about, you know, what kind of projects you would, because this is for the coming year, what projects you want to spend on. So if you don't have those ideas now, it's okay. But at the June meeting, yeah, you know, this is we'll just a, this is just to come up with ideas. And, and technically we don't have to do anything. I mean, I've been on the EDC where we did nothing. No, but it's, you know. Uh, it's a new age. It's a new age. We're going <laughs> to right. do the and good thing. And then the budget can be amended. When well, do, so. question one is, has the city been approached by anybody or any uh, potential ask. business opportunity that requested any support? Sort of, yes. I've got that's, one. That's what we need to know. Oh, well, the, the, okay, uh, she said business. There's, there's, a, there's a joint police premier, premier one opportunity that's coming up with a possible impound lot that would also allow premier to utilize pay also but utilize that for parking but also generate revenue but also the other part of it is it gives some more enforcement teeth to the police particularly as 1604 opens up so rather than if you get repeat offenders or bad offenders we don't just cite them and, and send them off. We actually impound their car, and they have to come to us to get it back. And it continues to create, continues to harden our area in that regard. It's just another tool, but it's also got some benefits that going over to Premier One for fl overflow parking. When will we get a more formal proposal? Uh, I'm We're hoping by next. That. I'm hoping by next month. I'm pushing on it really hard, trying to get all the bids in. We are, we are so we have an idea. Right. And so we've talked about maybe approaching the EDC on it because it does engage one of the businesses we support. Interesting. Yeah, I know it's something just, it's, it's just something mm -hmm. for thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Businesses might want us to know about. Mm -hmm. We've been reaching out, obviously, a lot this year. Sure. Delaying. So no, uh, it, you I guys have been doing a great job. Generate some rip ripples. So. It's like, that part's just now coming in, so I don't have any hard numbers. But it is something that's. I would. I would. I'm starting to get some numbers. Adding in there uh, on, onto that some budget some expenses for next year, if possibly or billboards. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. Sure. Things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can do that, and it's it's worth having a line item for. Or a Chick Fil A. <laughs> and if you could do it, you should throw all your money. At I it. would. I you really should. Oh, be a Chick Fil A across the Yeah, they are. Where? I heard that. At Northwood. Yeah. yeah. Where? I heard that one. Pier One Imports. Pier one imports. Oh, oh, really? They better I get didn't know it was going to be a Pier One though, because yeah, when they stop good. on the highway, it's yeah, dangerous. Going across the oh, way. Delane, bad news on Chick Fil A. He said that there's one going in across 281. Oh yeah, I know. I knew about that. But you figure that's right across the highway, almost from the other one. So we're a little further down, so we would get more business. <laughs> something, something for you guys to know, if you don't know already. Kill Country Village, and I don't know the dollar amount, but most of their budget is funded off Bjorns, off a single store. Yeah, they their their property taxes are much much lower rate than ours because of. The sales Bjorns. tax revenue they get from Bjorns. So on a very serious note, if anybody you, anybody has any connections and ability to attract that kind of store, that kind of volume, those kind of price points in, you can make a serious impact on your sales tax revenue. Yeah, but we just don't have any land. I'm just saying. Yeah, unfortunately, the land doesn't suit itself. So I, I get it. I know. But if you could talk, if you could, if, the idea has always been with that, and maybe even with one of these restaurants, although the building's already set up for food service. But 
if you could, when working with the landlords or working with the property owners, offer funds. So like we did with Starbucks, hey, we'll demo the place for you. We'll get it set up. Offer those like kind of incentives to that kind of business so that they've come into Galleria. And you work in conjunction with those property owners. That might be where you're, with your business impact of EDC, that's probably where outside of buying land, which we don't have any to buy, that's your biggest single opportunity to make an impact that's specifically EDC oriented. And that requires you guys working with the property owners. You know, maybe they get tired of leasing to one food service joint after another. We want to reutilize, reutilize this land in a different way. Hey, we got half a million dollars we're willing to throw at you if you attract this sort of business in here and you work with them in that regard. I mean, so, if something happened to walk-ons, then... Like, that's what I'm saying. That would be a location that... Right. Oh, gosh. I know. That's the largest commercial. The only problem with that is that it has no parking. That's right. That is a problem with that. Yeah. That is a problem with that. No question. So, uh, on page 19, we've oh, got... Oh, sorry, Fred. <laughs> that's okay. It's, it's all in the... So, on page 19, uh, there's various expenses listed that were uh, budgeted. Uh, that first one is legal and professional, and, and that's probably going to... We're online to spend about 20 on our legal, legal and professional, so uh, we have to have that in there. And then the others are just all... You know, for y'all to think about for ideas. So, I mean, we're not we're not uh, deciding on anything tonight. This is just for y'all to come up with ideas of of where the EDC could spend the money to make an impact for the community. So, you are welcome to call me anytime. You know, during business working hours not Fridays Fridays are not a business working day for me so do so. I have a motion to no you don't no, you don't no. need any motion we're just it's just, just discussion new business yeah. okay right so so I just wanted to so, we just so. wanted to start the wheels y'all had requested that we start talking about this and so it's just to give you some information and and you're welcome to come by and and talk to me or you know so give there, me a call so next month just bring bring our ideas and start yeah. going from there exactly okay. and i'll bring numbers i will get impound numbers just for y'all to consider is there anyone else i mean besides the impound is there possible next month just kind of bring in what are perhaps some some pipeline businesses I, Oh, pipeline businesses? Like ones that, that we could, you know, that would be goals to have in the next year. Because, I mean, if we, if we want to go that route to provide incentives for businesses, and I, 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 I may, you know, be behind the, the curve on this, but I'm not familiar with what businesses, you know, we, we would want to target or perhaps are, are in the pipeline of, uh, of starting to attract here so that we can kind of as an EDC start kind of looking to see what perhaps we can do on that. Front. Yeah, I, I, I would actually kind of be looking to you guys if you guys knew of anybody. I don't have anybody in the pipeline. Okay, uh, first, and, and that's a fair line, answer. No. I just so. Every now and then we'll hear about something, right. and we might look into it, see how legitimate it is, or if we're... Like we'll hear about a farm, the farmer's market and stuff like that, but there's, there's no. I'm not, I, I don't... I'm not hearing about any businesses looking for a new place to come in here, but we're mm. kind of hoping that some of you guys maybe maybe okay. know if somebody's well, coming. If I can ask the question, in what capacity as a Hollywood Park EDC member or board of directors, I'm going to the largest retail conference in the country in two weeks in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the Real Grand Valley Partnership, my, my own company. Under the Hollywood Park EDC, what can I say or do to say I'm from Hollywood Park? Can I pass out a card? You can, absolutely okay. can. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And I would suggest as far as not just the pipeline, but our local businesses, you know, whether it's outside the gallery, we can talk to the, la the landlord essentially there, right. but with the property, specific yeah. places here, uh, like Roadhouse or Walk-Ons or other businesses here, I mean, there's a list of them, and you can approach them about um, what can we do to make sure you're going to stay. 
that's the, then we can turn around and say, what can we do to invest in you to make sure right. you stay? Yeah, please use your cards to do it. You could it still has to go to the board. You can just bring it to the board and go, hey, look, I talked to this guy. This is what I've got. I talked to this lady. This is what I've got. What do you all think? And yeah, absolutely. We can put together agreements for that that helps retain businesses. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Are you going to say something? Jay, do you know? From someone that had approached us, remember the one business, Patrick, that I think you had given the guy my name, and he was with Taco Cabana. Yep. But yep. it was the whole corporate that owns hundreds of businesses, and they were yep. looking at this thing, but it, it got nixed because it didn't go it far. Didn't, yeah. Yeah. He that was, was one of those yeah. we'd heard about in a pipeline, and then. Didn't go anywhere. Well, Speaking of which, though, I'm sorry I didn't interrupt you, but I'm just thinking about did they ever sell that building that was a campus on the backside, the backside of the body shop? They had roll up doors. It was a, it was an executive. It's like a commissary thing or something. Well, I don't even know if it was a commissary, was, but it had was, a warehousing and office function. There were a few entities interested in that location. Yeah. Um, um, Taco Cabana was one of those. There were a few, and someone were approached, and they were like, well, we'd have to correct them it's not zoned for this or what whatever the okay. issue was and then i don't know anything more than and that. it was weird with the parking because there's that grassy area in the back but they're counting that as parking spaces but it's not designated right so that was a little off um it's right sure back here in the back i don't even know what road it is you so, go all the way to the back and you make a you make a right instead of going to, to the to the turnaround and it's right back there it's like going to the enclave right yeah sort chula of. vista i think is is, is that the road? Right, Y'all should drive through. Just go through Gallery Oaks, go to the back. It's, it, also, I thought it was empty last time. I was going to bring up, because I forgot to bring it up earlier, and it, it was sent to me as a realtor, So, but it does apply to us, if we could probably, if anyone wanted to go. So they're having a sip snack and be inspired. So Ashton Woods is just having a grand opening of their studio, and it's at 17319 San Pedro, which is in Hollywood Park. Yes. And it is May 18th from 4 to 6. And it's going to be showing their design studio. So enjoy signature drinks and dine on gourmet food catered by Signature Catering, RSVP. So Can win maybe a $1,000 gift card. What? Can you send that to me? Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll blow it up. Yeah. So if y'all want, y'all could RSVP and we could just say we're Hollywood Park EDC. Love to You'd make be surprised. <laughs> That's a good one. Free drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Shed. I was going to say, we're meeting with Darden. They just opened up the new Seasons 52 at the quarry. Yes. They were negotiating with them for one of the McAllen. But they have, I think, 27 restaurants under their hat. Yep. And so it could be a quick conversation with him. Hey, by the way, why don't we park? Walk but walk ons is always at the conferences. And that may do what you said. Yeah. They're opening up everywhere for one reason. This one here is just not doing well. It's just well. not doing well, yeah. yeah. There's all these cars Dark, there. Is that, is that, uh, uh, is that Ollie, Ollie's Garden? Yeah. yeah. It's all Garden. Uh, uh, Longhorn. Longhorn. Like Cheddar's. Cheddar's season 50, yeah. yeah. Is it Maggiano's too? Yes. Yeah. 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 Does anyone right. have any other uh, input or anything that they'd like to share? Okay. So what? Oh, wait, wait, are we in the section for statements? That's yes. What we're getting to. Okay. Um, I did, and something that was not um, put on the agenda, and I I had not re uh, noticed it was talking about ribbon cuttings. Oh yeah, I you had talked about it. I didn't know if you wanted an item. Okay. Well, it, it was just it was something that I really would or like. I thought maybe it would be under promotion of businesses. Oh. I, I I thought we were putting it as a separate okay. section, but um, just wanted to put that on the agenda for next month is ribbon cuttings. That, I mean, as as I think I had mentioned last month, you know, just a, a, a thick green ribbon for when new uh, new businesses come in, we can we can schedule it with them to you know find a date that's appealing to them. Have one or more EDC members coming. The other is just as a friendly reminder that the fire truck uh, event is next week, um, Monday. Yep, Monday and, 6 p.m. 
And I am very excited about uh, going to that, as is my five-year-old daughter. <laughs> so she is elated and has been commenting on that fire truck every or the the fire uh, station every time we go by. <laughs> Thanks so, for right. Thanks for bringing. But that. yeah, but please, please go through. And then the last part is please. I, I know that this is not always the, the, the sexiest thing that happens in Hollywood Park, but please just talk with your neighbors, talk talk with people that, that you know that live here to increase citizen participation. Because if there is something, I mean, we're, we're doing, and really thanks to Delane on this, is that we're doing some amazing things. We, we're, we're thinking, we're talking, we, we have the desire, but it is very important for... For citizens if they have something to communicate their their thoughts so citizen participation thank you nothing else i i had a couple things uh one was going to be the fire truck uh ceremony so thanks for bringing that up uh y'all are definitely invited the edc contributed to that project it's about the fire truck and the fire bay um the fire truck is amazing looking so uh it's really it's large they're testing on it and all that kind of stuff so one we want to make sure you're there and and part of that is y'all can either park in this lot here or along sunway the gate's going to be open so can, people can go in uh through the, the sunway gate exit uh or entrance um i know y'all are it's summer's coming up so i want to remind you of that if y'all are going anywhere or that's going to change some of our meeting times or dates and stuff like that let me know oh are we when is our, when is our next meeting? so the next meeting is in june would if it's the first thursday if we go back to that that'll be june one if if uh if we still stick with that yeah. is that is that okay works for me is everybody else yeah, i'm fine with that yep okay the the other side that kind of coincides with that is um, um, well, I can put it back on the agenda about uh, scheduling and all that because there's a lot of people going to be going out in, Jul in July that we know of too so what uh, uh, July is when you wanted to finalize the budget when was when were we going to have the meeting in July well, Six. remember because that's um, well that would normally be on July 6th, uh, since y'all are talking budget. I know that Fred won't be here on the 6th. That's um, July 4th week. And that's a, that's a, yeah, 4th is like in the middle of the week. So that'll be an interesting time. So should we just skip the month? Of, well, we don't know where we'll be with projects. Never mind. So um, the, there's a lot going on in July. Yes, you you want to do it in August? Well, then that changes the budget schedule we were just talking yeah, about. I, I thought we were all going to so when do you want to do it in July then? Uh, I mean, is it twentieth? I mean, that's 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 that it. is uh, that's an option. Yeah, July twentieth. July twentieth. It's after the council meeting, but that's not a problem. No, it's not. Well, but this is independent. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is independent of of that. I mean, if right. if they're passing in, in yeah. September, it doesn't matter when they're oh, going you're, through. You're yeah, that, that yeah, like exactly. If y'all so, would like to, we can. So, move the EDC meeting. So we're talking about not having an EDC meeting, but having a budget meeting? No, no, no. Well, it would be an EDC meeting, meeting on the 20th. Okay. But, but the, the intent would be to pass the budget at the July meeting. So when's this workshop that we're going to have outside of meeting? What that was scrapped. Oh, okay. Well, we that can make it a single agenda meeting, right? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, we can talk about that in June. Um, so. The other the other part of that, if y'all are going to meet June one, got to go back to that on June one. If you'll recall, we are one man down um, here, and we haven't received applications. Bagel. Uh, that's oh the deadline was April thirtieth, so I extended the deadline to May thirty first. Uh, so I won't get those in your hands until the next day, essentially. Just wondering if people are. Because they're also getting the mass one about the committee signups and everything that they're thinking it's really more September and you know. no, I'm telling everybody to turn it in by April 30th or then May 1, or May 31st. The, the issue with this is uh, because I put it out May 31st, May 31st, and so if we get any on May 31st, 
I can't oh, say, I come in tomorrow, because you're going to be interviewed by the ADC. Um, but then again, we, I don't know what we'll get in. And what the hell are you about? <laughs> you're, you're here, and we're happy you're here. We get it. So, so but, what are we doing? Leaving it on the first or changing it? I don't know. That's just something to consider. I don't know how to, to, to approach that. If, if we have one opening and we have zero to one applicant, then that's not going to really affect anything. Or should we just leave it on the first? Leave it on the first. You can. Okay. Um, just to be clear, it's June 1. June 1. June 1. July 20. July 20 is the EDC. And, and please, you know, if you know of anybody, let, let me know. There's a form. I think that's it. All right. Good. Okay. So is that it? Uh, meetings adjourn at 740.